Okay, it's running. Fifty people. How many? Fifty. Fifty? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Du, so th there is that's the place where you would explain and then go back. And oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shall we start? Yes. We can start. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Welcome check. to the Ballot Club. I still have the academy. Once again, we're in a very secure place. Only four of us here. Four absolutely fabulous accompanists, Ms. Regina, and our marketing team, two gentlemen, Josh and Isaac, and myself. So uh, we're in a very clean, secure place. Everybody kept enough space for everyone, from everybody. So at this moment, I wanted to offer you uh, some advice, um, some words from the bottom of my heart before cl the class starts. These days, it seems like all we hear is dire news. There's a, a sense of heaviness surrounding our society, all ourselves. But I wanted to tell you Nothing lasts forever, especially crisis like this. One day it will be over. So I want to just put that out there. Oftentimes, the most severe, intense time is right before the hope comes to our lives. Just like all we were reclining a mountain. Right before you reach the peak of the mountaintop, it's always the darkest, most tiring. I do believe we are at that stage right now. Just imagine a few weeks from now, when we actually arrive at the mountaintop, we see fog, beautiful valley beneath us. Then we look back and we will see ourselves triumphant. We see the victory that we actually overcame something very severe. And everybody will have some beautiful story to tell. So, having that said, let's begin with a very nice class. Just like I said last time, it will always provide us the foundation that we need to move forward. So, when we take class at home, does not mean that we needed to sacrifice our formality. Let's do reverence. Sixth position, please. Ready? Wonderful. Start with the first combination, warm up on the water. We have four point one, plie two. On the front, toes back, come back to first position. Again, five and six, heel forward again to the side, seven and eight, to the back. One, plie, two, three, brush forward in plie. Look opposite direction. To the side, five, plie, six, seven, eight. Left side, one and two, Three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. One and two, three, plie, four. Head five, center six, seven, and eight. Pull the ball with the arms. One, two, open three, change arm. The other side. And six, seven, eight. Then we open to our right. Large fourth position. Rotate in. 
forward, back, other side. Forward, back, return to the ball. Put the ear rolled up, push the floor away, bounce. Then we finish. Okay? Two hands on the ball, on the chair. Let's do plie. So we have arm to the side, first position. We do one and two, demi elongé. Three, head follow the hand, four. Grand plie, six, seven, and eight. Now just the port de bras, demi elongé first. And two, three, and four. Come down five, and six. Tong do seven, and eight. Second position. One, two, beautiful arm and head, and four, grand plié, six, seven, eight, reverse the pot de bras, up, change the hand position, come down, two second, tendu, fourth, back, same thing, one, two, three, four, grand plié, six, seven, eight, demi elongé. this time come very forward, up, arm to the side, tendu, fifth. one, two, three, four, Grand plié, six, seven, eight. Reach all the way back. In front. Second. And finish. Okay. Ready?
Great, wonderful. A couple of things I want to talk about. When we are uh, at home, that we have to take advantage. I always talked about this. You always have to take take a a negative situation, turn it into a positive situation. Okay, so this is a great opportunity for us to work on a few things that we normally we won't have time to address it. One of them is a photograph. Very important. We can do the photograph everywhere, anywhere. Okay. Now watch this particular movement. Arm from to the side. Demi elange starts with your elbow, not just your wrist. Watch me. The elbow. Arm all the way up. Look at this little detail. My hand has to change. My hand has to change position. That's a beautiful movement. Don't overlook that, that passage. Yeah? All the way up. Change the shape of your hand. Now, the head has to follow the hand. The entire duration of the movement. Okay? Second thing, we talked about this, demi-plie, as deep as possible. Your knee has to be over the toes and come up. Okay? Left side, please. When you go to Kudipie, I need to see a scrape the floor with the foot coming off fifth position. Like that. Yeah? Then have to go back to the depth of the plie, deepen the plie, toning it out. Okay, a couple of things. Alright, ready?
that eating okay? Let's do a quicker tone boost. Still, uh, still tone boost, okay, from fifth position. Let's do. To the front, we we'll do. Bit, then, bit, then, bit. Side, inside, inside. Inside, if I say to you, one. one and two, and brush. One, two, three, four, back, and two, and three. Start and two and three, inside back. One and two, watch this, very critical, watch my head. Front, in, in, plie. Uh, we'll do that twice, one more time. Front and two and hold. Start and two and hold. Effacer devant. One and two, brush back. Fit then, fit then, down, plie. Uh, back two, three, side two, three, inside back two. Three, in, in, down, up. Let's do a comrade to the side, forward, side, back, to the corner, cross it, plie, back foot, could you peer back, find a little balance, and we finish. Okay? Still tone dudes, alright? The toes still on the floor. Twice through, guys. Stretch a little bit, please. We have, our, we have our autonomy students. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> Wonderful. When we're at home taking class, that doesn't mean this class, we should treat it as a warm-up class. You can have a real good, very solid, productive bar, okay, with the right instructions. But in your mind, don't treat it as a just a warm-up class just because you're in your living room, your basement, okay? So we need to have a proper, everything proper, just like your teacher's been telling you, okay? Turn down for your feet, especially we talk, we've been talking about this, your upper body, that does not have restrictions in terms of the studio or your home. You can do port bras okay? Proper upper body, very important. Left.
Catherine Quick. Let's do a polish of all for the for the articulation of our foot. Okay, watch this very simple. Two. And one. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Seven. Eight. And one. And two. And three. Four. And five. Six, seven, eight. Second time, all relevant, same combination. One, and two, and three, and four. Back in two, two on one place, okay? Simple combination. I really wanted you to pay attention to the articulation, the delivery of the foot. Everything is sensitive, everything is applied, everything is articulated, okay? Ready? Two times through, first time on flat, second time on relevant, okay? Stretch the hips a little bit. Did you do it? Did you do the articulation? Develop it. Watch me. Slow motion goes. The knee is going to dominate that movement. Knee goes up, then the heel forward. I touch the floor. I don't drop. I gently touch the floor. Then same route come back, which means I go up and I come back in. Okay? Okay. Good thing for me is I might this get me back in shape. That's, <laughs> that's a plus. 
I don't know. I might go back to dancing. I don't know. <laughs> I never say that. But I do have to say that I miss. I miss my performing days. I think every former dancer will tell you. You know, beautiful times. Let's do jeté. Yeah. Let's do PKs and GTs. We do up, 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 in, 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 up, up, up. Keep in mind I say up, but didn't say down. Fit, fit, fit. Back two, three. Fit, fit, fit. In, first, first, out. First, first, in. Up two, three. Fit, fit, fit. Piquets. Up, two, three. Fit, fit, fit. Front, two, three. In, in, in. Then watch this. The foot. In, in, out. In, in. Fit. Let's do another set of pour de bras. To the bar, forward. To the bar, back. Turn cross it. Plie. Back foot to pass it this time. Okay. Ready? Reminder, for me, did you do the leg higher enough? I personally prefer the jeté to be that high. For me, your teacher tell you otherwise, do what they say. But for me, I like higher. I don't like PK's jetés here. I like up, 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 almost at the fondue level. With this tempo anyway, okay? It serves a different purpose, I'll tell you why. Because when we do awesome leg, your leg is not here. Your leg is here. Okay, so the muscle memory will help us with that, um, with that velocity. <coughs> Ready?
stupid. It's a wobbly job. We do. One and two and three and four. And again, five and six, seven, eight. Watch this. Group at one. Need lead the movement. Very slow. Two. I need to see Egate de rear. Three. Tongue do four. Brush five. Pass it six. Please seven. Through Tongue do. Through first position. Brush forward. Tongue do front. Again. Back. And two. Three. And four. Seven, eight, and watch this. Coupe back, stand up already, turned out. Turned out already. Now watch, I want to see Eka te derriere. Don't do this. Eka te derriere, open your thigh. Gently down, brush five. That's almost like a grand ballon. But don't bounce back. One, hold, two, Plie, three, and um, relevant. Circle point of One, two, three, four. Circle point of Five, six, seven, eight. To the point. Forward and back. Come up. All flat. All demi relevant. A beautiful arabesque to the back. Below 90. Find your balance. Then we finish. Okay? Just follow me, okay? Just slow enough that you can see it. Did you do this right? Did you do this? Open, yeah? And down. And pass first position. When I just did it, I have to be very careful. When I pass first position, I really have to lift high for this leg to pass first position without being compromised. When I say being compromised, sometimes it's even invisible, but you know it. It's his leg just a little soft when you come back, when you through first position. In order for to, not to do that, you really have to lift tall for the passage of first position to happen. And with the heel forward, articulation, clarity, yeah?
let's do this fondue. We do fondue one, two, three to the side, inside, FRCT one, five, through passes six, seven, eight. Come back. One, on flat two, three, four, fill up it. Five, passes six, or the seven, and eight. Continue to the side. One, two, three, four, five, passes six, extend seven, eight, repeat one, side, three, four, and five, very important. Could it be Pass it. Double that. Okay? So once again, one, two, three, four, and five. Very important. Go through passes. Six, all the way up. Four hikes. Eight. Same thing to the back. Come forward. Then repeat two times to the side. Incorporate your upper body, please. Very important. Okay? And knee over the toes. If you don't, your weight is not over your supporting side. Very important for you on one leg, not on your heels. Okay? Ready? down to the very end when you're tired that's the moment we have to embrace not reject difficult moment especially very end you're tired that's a golden moment you have to grab it you have to embrace it okay that's when you improve that's you push your range your boundary of all kinds okay don't give up that moment Ready? your hips and the hip flexors especially. Frog. 
right away on db relevant. Okay? So we have up and up and up, two, three. Same thing to the side. Side, two, one, two, three. To the back. One, two, one, two, three. And uh, down. And uh, down. Look at my heels. And uh, down. And uh, down. And up. And up. Side, 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 side. Front, two, one, two, three. Guys, gentle, okay? Don't cr crush down. Gentle, one, and uh, two, and uh, three, and uh, four. And piti bum One, two, three, and four. Four, down. And five, six, seven, eight. Plie, pass it outside and balance. Okay? Ready? Stretch a little bit. <sighs> Once again, we prefer a little higher front bed. Yeah? <clears throat> the energy is very important. Up and look at the speed, it's not slow. It has to be up and up and one, two, three. It's a strike. Stretch your calf a little bit more. Ready? Let's do a stretch on the bar, okay? If you uh, hold on to the back of the chair, you need a two of them at this moment in order to maneuver. I actually prefer the back of the couch because it's long enough. I can maneuver, I can move around a little bit more. Also, it's more sturdy, okay? I prefer the back of the couch. <coughs> stretch like yesterday. Uh, like on Wednesday, but follow me, okay? Once again, that this is not a rest. You really have to feel the leg at 90 degrees. With the turn down, toes either pointed or flexed, non-neutral, 
okay? Very simple, we do enveloppe and developpe, okay? So the leg goes plie on one, two, three, four, to our less plie, five, six, seven, eight, come back. Two, three, four, all back, six, seven, and eight. To the side, same concept, a little different. We don't, plie, we don't do plie on the way out. One, two, three, coupe back in plie. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Plie back leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the dog. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the side. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. Inside leg, plie. Two hands on the ball. Cross the devil. Okay. 
che incorporate your shoulders, your upper body into it, please, okay? Feel good. Everybody okay? Stretch your legs just a little bit. I think every class, you have to reach a moment where you say to yourself, okay, that was my limit. I think every class, you have to find a moment. Either it is in tondu, or very first combination, plie, or ground leg or very end. You have to find a point where you say, that was good. One second, a phrase, or a combination. Yeah, that's your strike in every class. Especially for us as students, you, uh, you're not at the, uh, in a moment in your career, a ballet class, just the maintenance or preparation. As a student, we have to constantly push your boundaries in classes because you're not going to have, you're not having a vigorous five to six hours of rehearsal yet. Okay, so class, that's where you need it to find your support structure to improve. The support structure has to go up and up progressively, okay? For professional dancers, that's very different. Class can be a maintenance structure because they have five, six hours of rehearsal afterwards, okay? All right. I wanted to do the, the turning combination that we talked about last class. Okay, it's very important for us to do this combination almost every day. So, you have one, plie two, ladies palm tail. Two, and, and I open. I don't swing, yeah? You do. One, plie two. And deep and clear, arm to 45 degrees. And three, knee right away to the mirror. Okay, that has to happen with the strength. 
make sure the knee goes to the side right away. We do right and left four sets eight times, okay? for a second. Same idea, go to other second. We do one and two and look at my left arm directly in front of me. Directly in front and go up. Okay? So don't go to the side. And directly in front of my body. Finish on top of your forehead. Not here. On top of your forehead. It goes like this. One, two, three, and four. Okay? Take advantage of uh, this combination. When you return to the studios, you should be able to see the significant improvement in your turns once we do this every day. Okay? Let's do the obstacles. Yeah? Little slow. We do front and uh, two, side and uh, two, inside, front, tongue do two, three and four, our rest. One and uh, two, two and uh, two, inside, five, tongue do six, come back up, seven, eight. All the way, everything to the side now, side and uh, two, and uh, two, side, gentle tongue up, two, side, fit, side, fit, side, tongue up, okay? Nice and easy, please.
When I did this combination, my arm is very important, second position. I keep my arm there as a gauge to helping me to make sure the where the leg is, especially to Allah Sikon. Don't move your arm up and down, forward and back. Keep your arm below your shoulders. It's like hugging a very big tree. Keep your arm there. When I go to grandma on to the side, this is the area I wanted to go to. Behind your arms. However, you're not gonna move your target like this, right? I keep my arm to the side. The leg go behind the arms. Okay. Ready? Put your leg on the bar like this, and then we're gonna stretch or rotate a little bit. Roll your ankle a little bit, we're gonna do some jumps. Every jump, two please. One in front, one after. Two equally important. But in most cases, the second plie, the landing plie, is even more important because that plie oftentimes connects with the next jump. So the second plie is the plie absorb, the jump, and that is the plie taking off from the second jump, okay? So, when we go to it, what I don't want to see is this kind of plie, yeah? What I want to see is A, A, one, see? Settle, three, four. So we do five, six, seven, A, A, one, two, three, four, A, one, two, Three, four, eight, one, two, three, four. We do that eight times, just in first position, okay? <sighs> Don't do this. Plie, yeah. Plie, yeah. Support, bottom push forward. Plie, yeah. You have to lift even higher when you land. Very important. I go, lift. You see? When I land, I don't just give all the responsibility to my legs, my ankle. I go through toe, toes, the ball of your foot, and then the heels. By the time the knee involved, you're very light. Yeah? So don't give all the responsibility to give your knee. One, two, three, four, and one. Like that, okay? So, Let's do away from the bar, okay? So, find a space in your space, okay? Nice, flat, solid place. Let's find, let's find our, our center. 
Okay. Two syllables. A and two, three, four, and one, and two, three, like that. So, quiz when I do two jumps consecutively, how many plays is that required? How many? Three, right? Three. You got one. You got two, you have three. And out of that three period, three plie, which one's more, most important? We talked about this earlier. Second one, correct? Because the second one has double opportunity and responsibility because it connects the first jump and the second jump. Okay? A, and one, and two, three, and one, and two. For a younger student, for a younger audience, you can hold on to a bar, hold on to a chair. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So for those of you who have the opportunity, have the space, I prefer to be away from your chair, from your bars. <sighs> First position. like this give us the opportunity to do something like this. Very valuable. If you do it correctly, everybody, not only you're not going to be out of shape, you might be stronger out of this because we have opportunity to do something like this. Stretch your calf a little bit. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do two shows more. So you do eight and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, three, four. In a chapeau, fair, seven, eight. Exactly same concept. Two jumps, three plies. Okay? Three sets of changement, then one set of a chapeau, fair. Same idea. Stay calm. When you go to plie, keep your shoulders. Okay, don't do this. When you hunch over, your bottom goes back. 
When the bottom goes back, you lose your plie. When we lose plie, we lose jaw. Stacked up directly. Too little for the breath. <sighs> Just the arms. So that's it for today. Great class. Thank you for all of you who followed us, followed me, followed QF Academy, and uh, we're committed to provide quality service to you, near and afar. Technology really helping us at this moment. We want to provide you a high, high quality education that we are committed to provide, okay? Is there any questions? We have some time to answer you uh, some questions that might, you might want to um, give it to me. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna start with the first question. It is tips on better balances and tips for a better pointed foot. Tips for better balances. This is not word, balance. To me, it's always the idea of opposition, support. In all business, in ballet, the balance, it's never this kind of balance. It's always oppositional support. For example, if I have just first position relevé, if I want to balance, you tell the balance, okay? The oppositional support idea in this case 
is your legs actually is going down. Act like a root, like a tree. Back of your head, your spine lift up. That oppositional support. Plus, lateral, sideways. Feel your back go sideways. Look at my elbow. This way, my elbow goes to sideways. So you're basically creating an internal cross. Then, another idea of opposition support in this particular case is a diagonal. Right shoulder, left hip. Left shoulder, right hip. This cross provides another layer of security. Okay, so think about that concept. Goes with all balances. In passing, same thing. Supporting it goes down, spine pulls up. Knee to the side, elbow to the side. Down, up, side to side, and diagonal. Then I think we'll be good. Think about that idea, okay? Mm. Then the point of foot. Articulation, okay? When you do a tendu, it's never going to be that. Always, always go through. That's a slow motion, you see that? Slow motion. Three quarter, then the toes. Three quarter, then the heel. Take it slow. It is not about, really, some of, us, some of us has a bigger arch than the other. But for us, we can always find articulation of the foot. Does not discriminate whether you have a big arch or not. I have seen some dancers with orange arch, not like this, but beautiful, beautiful dancers because they use their feet well, because the articulation and attention to the details. Yeah? Next. Uh, next question is, tips for bad posture habits outside of the dance studio. So for example, sitting at a desk for a long time. Well, I always use a backpack. I don't ever carry a bag only on one shoulder. I always use backpack because it is uh, creating a balance, even weight distribution. That's one thing, okay? Especially for ladies, you might oftentimes will have one, one bag heavier than the other. So our spine is const constantly being st uh, stressed in one way or the other. That's not healthy for us as dancers. And we, when you sit at the computer, for example, make sure Every a while, let's say every hour and two, give yourself a break. Do a couple of work. Stand up. Do some stretch on the floor. It might take you just two seconds, uh, two minutes, but will help a lot. It does not make us in one posture for too long. Okay, but and when you sit, make sure your back is somewhat lengthened. Now, don't do this. That's our natural habitat. This way, yeah? Put your shoulders down. So exercise helps, okay? Great, next question is, what is one thing dancers must do to maintain themselves? And what do you do to maintain yourself? It's a very good question. It's a job, I have to say. For me, it's a discipline. After I stop dancing, I want to share something with you. Just like we're using this word disruption a lot. Nowadays, we talk about disruptions, okay? Because our routine is being disrupted. For us professional dancers, at one point when you stop dancing, this is a major disruption of our lives. So for a while, personally, I was lost because my routine was gone. The only thing we know how to do it was, was disrupted. And I have to find a new norm, like what we're doing right now. Exercise helps. The discipline that you, have, you had when you were a dancer helped me to maintain my morale, okay? Maintain my spiritual, mental, and physical health. Very important. Through consistency in exercise, consistency in discipline consistency in maintaining a regular order 
in your lives. A regular order. Okay, no matter the world changing surrounding you, but your internal discipline stays. This discipline, everybody is different. For me, I have to have a, a moment where I find my body, where I feel some kind of exercise. I feel I'm a still dancer. That's why when I teach, I try to de demonstrate as much as I can, as long as I can do it. Because that's where I found myself. Yeah, that discipline, that inner consistency is important in everyday lives. Great, we got two more questions. This is a little bit more specific. What are the benefits of foam rolling? Benefits of what? Foam rolling? Foam, oh my God, I tell you what, I tell you. When this foam came out, it was uh, more than 10 years ago. And I, I, done, I, in my career, I did a lot of partnering. That's what I did, partners. It, you know, every, boy, every guy out there can tell you, it takes so much out of your back, okay? Your back. So when this phone came out more than 10 years ago, I believe it maybe 12, even 13 years ago, even longer, I was uh, a dancer with Susan Farrell Ballet at that time. We were in New York. I was just stepping into Capizio's store in Manhattan. And the lady said, here is a, a something new. I want you to try. It was a white phone, about this big. That's before the long one came out, only this big. And I said, well, what is that? And she was like, just roll on it. So I put it on my back, I rolled back and forth. I swear, I tell you, at that time, I was just came off like a six hour rehearsal, all partnering, lifting women. And when I was laying on the thing, I truly, I almost cried. I was like, oh my God, the first thing that came out of my mind is that this thing is going to prolong my career. This is how dramatic it was, my experience, first time roll on that phone. So phone rolling, back to your question. I love it. I have three of them. I always had one in my dance bag. Through my career, I always had a phone in my, in my dance bag. One thing you can do is roll on your back. Yeah? The other we use to stretch our legs. Let's say you have a front split. I do not recommend put this foot in the front leg because that puts so much strain on the knee right here. You know where I put it? Back here. I put it in my back leg. So I split it like this. I put the foot right here. That gave me the support that I need for the back knee not to be strained in a way that I don't, I don't think it's healthy. So I put it right here on, the, on my thigh, and I stretch that way. It really, really helps. Um, there's many different things. Mainly is relaxing your muscle, relaxing your shoulders. And you know, the, you know what? If you want to, as a professional dancer, if you have five minutes, 10 minutes break, I use it as a pillow. I take a little nap. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you, you can do many things with it, but I love it, really. Mm -hmm. Uh, one question I have on Instagram is how, how to stand in four to, to properly? My stand first, in what? Stand in four. The, Fourth position? Yeah, I think so. Okay. My first and fifth position are fine, but I always... Fourth do. position? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Fourth position, first of all, many different schools, but we prefer. Just like a second position, the distance between... For, for example, the second position for us, for this school, is a foot, the distance. For this school, Kirov Academy, we don't do second position that big. We do tendu to the side, we'll put your heel down. That's it. Okay, that's our second position. Fourth, the same thing. Tendu front, now watch this. Your toes is going to come back, heel come forward. That's your fourth position. Approximately a foot in between two feet. First, you have to understand that's the width for fourth position. I'll tell you why. For example, or second position, or weight, your or leg still have the structure of all weight. If all feet is wider than second, look all weight, lose the support of all legs. Same thing in the fourth position. For example, fourth back. If my fourth position is that big, 
the majority of my weight of my body is unsupported by my leg, okay? Now, if I have a little smaller fourth position, my weight is beautifully structured and supported by my legs, okay? That's one thing. Second is even distribution of your weight. Not to the front, not to the back, absolutely in the middle. Weight in the middle. So it's upside down V shape like this, okay? Third, your bottom, your rotator has to be engaged. Fourth position, the one of the worst thing we can do, I have no engagement of your bottom. When I put my heel down, my bottom push up like that, okay? So when you have the bottom engagement of that fourth position, the rotation is going to be there for you. Okay, the rotation from up and down, not down, up, up and down. Yes? Okay, that's it. Are we good? Yes, about 180 students consistently stayed, um, and they really love your lecture and your system. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know that you have a lot of options, but I really appreciate you turning with us. I am committed to you. Once again, uh, challenging times, but this is the time we reshape our lives. We learn something value of ourselves out of those experiences, okay? Hang in there. Everything will be great, okay? Thank you so much. See you next time. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.